today has been crazy. I am really going through it today, you guys. Um, it's PMDD week. Yep, we're back there again. And um, my mind is not working with me today at all. I had chronic anxiety this morning, panic, mood swings, crying. And it all came on this morning. It was like a light switch. Somebody flicked it on. Um, so kind of just doing things today that make me happy or just trying to like take it easy today and really trying to just remind myself that I'm going through hormone changes. Um, but anyways, so I'm just going to be eating some Chef Boyardee macaroni and cheese. I always eat the ravioli ones, but I wanted to switch it up today, so... I got some really, really bad allergies going on today too. Um, like I said in my last video I just did of my um, August so far video, uh, we had two cases of COVID in our house this month. And I think what happened is I didn't get COVID or I did, I don't know, but it turned into like some sort of weird like upper respiratory and it was like right here. And now it's moving up here plus allergies. It's ragwood. It's ragwood season here in Michigan. And ragweed is from August all the way until I think late October. And it's horrible for people like me that suffer, that have sinus issues and allergies. To be honest, I really didn't even want this. I wanted something happier. This has been my best run. Lots of water. You guys, I cannot stress enough how much important water is when you're going through PMS. You need it. My son just went away for a minute. I had a double sneeze today. It was crazy. I was cleaning my kitchen and all of a sudden I was like, a chew, a chew. It was horrible. I always know like when I'm about to hit PMS or PMDD week because I'll start craving pasta. And it hit last night. I made this great pasta last night. It was like fresh chopped tomatoes, rigatoni pasta, um, sliced cheddar cheese. Um, that was the dinner I was making in that video. Um, I took a uh, canned chicken and fried it with like garlic and se Italian seasonings and I kind of like threw it all together and it was delish. It was so good. Got a phone call from my son's clinician. I was making this video. So this is my second take making this video and she called to um, get him set up for next week because David's been struggling really bad again. We've been having a lot of uh, mental health issues with him. He woke up at like 6.30, 7 o'clock this morning and he was running outside my bedroom door like back and forth making chirping noises. And then my youngest right now is he's going through the, t the, the terrible fives and he um, woke me up at like 1, 1 last night pulling on me. just to make sure that I was there. Officially 19 more days until school starts. I'm so ready for school to start.
and for my truck to be fixed. I never understood when my mom would like, she would get really upset because her car was broke. I remember a couple of months ago, my mom's car was like, she was having problems with it and it was out of commission for like a month. Like she couldn't drive it. And um, she was always like really down and really depressed. And I never understood it. And I haven't had a car now in four months. Talk about being down. It's been rough. I should have made two of those. It's just been a day, you guys. It's been, um, all I want to do is eat and cry. Like that's a, just eat and cry. I just want to eat a bunch of food. I tried getting my kids over to our old neighborhood because I was going to see if maybe they could possibly go hang out with their old friends over there. And I found out today that one of my friends that I thought was my friend, I thought she was a, a really good friend, um, doesn't want anything to do with me anymore. And I don't know what I did. I have no clue. And I only assume that it... Frick! The MCA is coming for a few minutes. So I have to get Nano. Can we go? Can we go? He's taking a nap, baby. Okay. Can I come across this room with Nevaeh? Only with Nevaeh. And you have to look both ways. 